The three additional fraud suspects are 39-year-old Carlos Mupaine and his wife, 31-year-old Martha Mupaine, and 42-year-old Brian Sneva. The scheduled bail hearing today of the first four suspects did not take place, and State Prosecutor Andreas Joseph did not oppose granting of bail and instead submitted bail amounts the court may grant the accused. He explained that the bail amounts were decided on the basis of the role each suspect played in the alleged crime. In respect of accused one, an employee of Education Directorate Raymond Kevin Sneva and accused three Hanali Jakob, employed by Bank Ventuk Branch, he proposed bail of 5,000 each. Accused two, Desmond Rudat, a building contractor in whose bank account over 600,000 was deposited, and the alleged kingpin Petrus Isaacs, a former worker at the Education Directorate, and accused seven, Brian Sneva, who is a cousin of Raymond, each were granted $20,000 bail each. The Mupaina couple were granted $10,000 bail each, and the case is postponed until the 13th of May for further police investigations. Bail conditions were that the accused persons in possession of travel documents hand them in with the investigation officers. Raymond Sneva, Rudat, Isaacs and Jacob were ordered to report every Friday morning between 6 and 9 o'clock at the Kidmanswa police station. The Mupaina couple and Brian Sneva are also required to report between 6 and 9 o'clock at the Police Commercial Unit Investigator's Office in Ventuk every Friday. All the seven accused face counts of theft, fraud, forgery and uttering, and further charges under the Anti-Corruption Act, the Prevention of Organized Crime Act. Accused 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 were represented by lawyers, while accused 1 informed the court his lawyer was on an assignment in Ludritz, while accused 7 said that he will conduct his own defense.